Sorry, vegans, there's no way you could make anything out of plants that could resemble that. It's just not happening. There's green chimichurri, purple chimichurri, and red chimichurri. And we're making the last one today. Red it is. Red chimichurri carne asada. Hey, thank you, Amaze, for sponsoring today's video. And by the way, amaze.com slash STCG, that's going to be important. There's no purple chimichurri. I just made that up. I guess we could make one, maybe with those purple yams or whatever, but I don't know what else is purple, but eggplant. No. No. But red. Red gets its color from uh, roasted red peppers and some smoked paprika. Yum. A couple of my favorite things. going to be great. And then at the end, the end, I'm going to turn it into something that you're going to be like, oh, shit, I have to make that. That was technically a tease, ladies and gentlemen, trying to keep your eyes on this video as long as possible. Right, boys? Right. <laughs> God, they're in formation today, all lined up wearing their cooking guy uniforms. Uh, before I get going any further, uh, let me say, we'd love it if you'd hit the uh, subscribe button, the notification bell. I won't ask for a like yet. Save that for the end. Let you form your own opinions. And I have a blemish today. Just let me point at it because I cannot stop seeing it. It's like it's, it's, like it's this big on my face. <laughs> And now that I've mentioned it, we'll all be looking at it the entire episode. Fantastic! I'll just stay nice and wide today. Thank you. I'm f***ing 61 years old. This shit is not supposed to happen. You're human. This goes away when you're like, what, 19, 20? I don't know. Ideally. Ideally. Okay, uh, here's the plan. We make the chimichurri, the red chimichurri. Get that all looking beautiful. Let it sit a little bit. Then we're throwing some beautiful skirt steaks on the, uh, the what's this thing? The, the grill. grill. The grill, thank you, behind me. And then when it comes off, you paint it, and then, oh my God, it's gonna be so good. Hey, did you make the chicken? That roasted lemon garlic chicken we did the other day. If you haven't seen that video, see it, watch it, love it, make it. It's that good, right, guys? Unreal. It's so good. We should probably get going, because I could stand here and chat all day long. Which makes me think we should do like a, the, an, an AMA, right? Should we do that sometime? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Whenever you're ready, guys. Just another second or two. Wait, hold on, hold it, hold it right there. All right, wait, we need to redo that. I wasn't rolling on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna begin with uh, three cloves of garlic, big ones. We'll just smash them a bit and drop these into our blender, our bullet in this case, which could be a processor, could be a blender, it could be mortar and pestle if you want. Next, we're gonna add a uh, shallot and this was one it was stuck together i'll just give these guys a bit of a rough chop so they blend easier and this nonsense goes in oh please uh i want some cilantro and some parsley so like this much whatever that looks like and then some parsley like this about the same of that and they go all right I said ro roasted red pepper. You could take a red pepper, throw it on the flame, blacken up the outside, put it in a bowl, cover it with plastic wrap, peel off the outside skin, get rid of the seeds and the membrane, and then put it in, or you can do this. Get a jar of roasted red peppers. Open it up. Get yourself a fork. This is a 12 ounce jar. I want about uh, a third of this, four-ish ounces. And they go. And this little bit of juice that's here is no big deal. It's fine to go in. Let's just go one more big spoonful, forkful of these guys. Perfect. Lovely. All right. Now for our seasonings, we're going to go, obviously, a big pinch of salt and pepper. And then cumin, maybe half a teaspoon-ish, like that. And then my fave, smoked paprika. Let's go a tablespoon of that. It looks like that to me. That goes in. A couple tablespoons of red wine vinegar. 1,001, 1,002. And now we're gonna give this a quick little mix. We have oil coming, but not yet. So if I switch this guy out and we'll go here, this guy goes on. And we'll just give it a little uh, pulse a few times. Hey, listen to what I'm about to say. You could win a dream house in Austin, Texas, 
or get $1.3 million cash instead. Did I get your attention? Because I got my attention. Look, we've talked about Omaze before, an incredible organization, an amazing organization that raises money for really good organizations. This time is no different. The prize is different though, and it's this crazy, gorgeous four bedroom, four and a half bath dream home in Austin, Texas, or $1.3 million cash. By the way, Austin, Texas is one of the most significant food cities in the country. Listen to these high points. Unique structural design. It's 3,200 plus square feet. It's really an entertainer's dream. There's custom windows. There's a floating staircase. There's a gorgeous, well-appointed high-end kitchen with beautiful cabinetry, a big-ass lavish master suite with big ceilings and a spa-like tub, or $1.3 million, your pick, if it becomes you. Let's not forget the charity, it's Folds of Honor. They provide educational scholarships to the spouses and children of America's fallen and disabled service members. The scholarships support private education tuition, homeschooling and tutoring for children in grades kindergarten through 12, and higher education tuition assistance for spouses and dependents. It's such a worthy organization. So what do you do? How do you get involved with this? It's very simple. To potentially win this beautiful Austin house and support Folds of Honor, go to amaze.com slash SDCG. That's amaze.com slash SDCG. I want to be chunky and sort of not really doing anything. So now let me add some oil and see if that helps. We want about a half a cup of olive oil. That to me will look like, that looks about a quarter of a cup. So let me just get that in and try mixing this a bit more. Yep, this is a great machine. Unfortunately, I don't really have enough stuff in here. Oh, it's actually not too bad. Let's do this little, the rest of this oil. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Check this out, get rid of this. And look in there. How beautiful is that? Oh, it smells so good. Does, okay, let's get it. Well, before we do that, we should taste it. A quick taste. It's freaking delicious. This is why you taste things, because I wanted some heat, and I have red pepper flakes right here that I forgot to put in. Stupid. All right, so let me add these. Maybe a half a teaspoon in. Let's give it one more blend away. There we go. And now we taste once more and so I don't pollute the boys. I'll use the other end of my fork and voila, there it is. Garlicky, the vinegar. Mm. The whole thing's fantastic. Okay, let's put this in a bowl because we're going to want this for later. Oh, tell me that's not gorgeous. Go and tell me. No, we will not tell you that <laughs> because it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Sweet. Okay, good. Look at this is gold. It's actually red gold. This is going to be the best. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to let the flavors come together in this. If you leave it an hour, it's going to be better than it is right now. If you can't do it, then use it. You're still going to love it. But a little time, the flavors meld together. Is that a word? Meld? It is. It is. Meld together. We'll take a quick break. It'll be uh, not even noticeable to you. When we come back, we're prepping our skirt steak. It's going on the grill. And then, uh, then the chimichurri goes on and we're eating big. And then I make that secret special thing that you're going to like. So. Take a quick break. Me and my uh, blemish are going to go clean up and then we'll be back. There we go. Beautiful, huh? Skirt steak. Nice, thin, perfect. It's these little bits of fat here. Some of them just pull off like this. You want to use a knife to get some off? Use a knife to get some off. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm okay with this. Uh, it's a tiny bit, but what is fat, Max? Flavor. Flavor. There's, nothing's bothering me here, so 
Let's just get these kids ready. So, chosen avocado oil. By the way, the official oil of Sam the Cooking Guy. We love it. Neutral oil. In my cookbooks, I call for neutral oil. And it could be vegetable, canola. We're using avocado because it has the highest smoke point, and you should too. Now, seasoned kosher salt and pepper. I'm not gonna go too crazy because these are thin. And I'm gonna do some on both sides. But we'll get this done up. We'll give me a little flip. A little flipperoony. Don't put that in, that was ridiculous. Oh, it's God going in. Hell. It's going in. Okay, this piece is bothering me now, so let me just get a little. Chance the flipperoony goes in. No, Chance. Roger that. Chance, who is your allegiance to? <laughs> the guy whose name is on the channel or the guy whose name is not on the channel? You know, I'm neutral. So, how do you, how do you resolve this? We're gonna f stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Does the flipperoni make it into the final cut? I guess they already know because they're watching this. Okay, everybody happy with what we've done here? Somebody say, what's next? What's next? We grill. <laughs> Chance took that quite literally. I goes, somebody say, what's next? He goes, what's next? Yes, we grill. And when your grill's hot, on we go. Oh, hey, don't do that, man. There you go. Beautiful. And now the other kid. Spread it out. Look, if this is more than three minutes aside, I'm gonna be really surprised. The grill's super hot. The skirt steak has been out of the fridge for at least 45 minutes. This is gonna cook like nobody's business, whatever that means. Once we flip it, I'm gonna give the top side a little smidge of the chimney. Little smidge. You normally save it and put it on after, but I like what it does when it kind of burns in a little bit. Should we have a little peak, Max? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Yep, that's what you want. That's what you want. I'm gonna move them just a little bit. Just for a minute or so, and then we're gonna get ready to flip. All right, let's give it a flip. Oh, I love this. And now we'll give our friend a little of the chimichurri. Son of a biatch. Damn. Damn, son. I smell it. Some of it hit the grill right here. That smell is coming up, oh my gosh. We're very close. I'm gonna give it another little turn. Shite. Okay, this little guy's ready, basically, but I'm gonna give him a flip so some of this can burn in. And then put some on the back side. Might as well do the same here. Just for a second though. Now we'll come back, let this bottom part burn in a bit. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Here we go. They're done. They're gorgeous and they're done. And look, it's gorgeous. But this is the time that we want to just paint it a little bit. We need to let this rest for a few minutes. And while it rests, this tremendous chimichurri is just going to sort of like get sucked into the pores of the meat. Ooh, that sounds gross, doesn't it? Yeah, not great. But you know what I mean? It will benefit. The heat is going to pull this in. Just resist the temptation to cut it yet. You really need to. I know it's tough, but you're going to be okay. So Max, do some magic on the screen that denotes the passage of time. Okay, so we've rested, right? Here's how this is going to go down. Let me put this kit over here. You can see the juice trail underneath. All right. So here's the deal. We always talk about this. You always cut against the grain, correct? And the grain in this case goes like this. So unless you want huge ass long pieces, the thing to do is cut like this, maybe cut like this, stack them, 
turn them. Move this kid over. Astro, and then you cut. Oh, how beautiful. Look how beautiful. Should I keep, should I keep saying this? Look yes. how beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I need a bite before I make this other thing and go freaking crazy. Oh, a little extra chimmy. And... Got some on your chin there. Holy shit. Tender, juicy. Still, there. Still? It sure is not my blemish. Tender, juicy, delicious, right amount of garlic. The little red pepper we added at the end was a great thing to do. Get that little vinegar note. Damn it. Just make it. Please, just make it. It is so good. It's so fun to have for all kinds of things, including what we're about to make now, which is a skirt steak, red chimichurri, Benedict. Boom. Boom, boom. Sorry, I should have said yeah. the boom, yes. Boom. Well, watch this go down. It's, I got all the components. It's gonna be fast. All right, here are the components. I have simmering water. I'm gonna drop my already poached egg into. We've talked about this, do them ahead of time. Then it's a piece of cake. Hollandaise sauce right here. I need a base for this. I'm not using English muffin. I'm using a nice slice of a baguette, but I am gonna put a little oil on it and start to let it get a little bit crispy on both sides. Wow. When I flip this kid, once it gets some color, then I'll slip the egg in. The egg will take about one minute. And here it is. I poached this earlier. Look, it's just a beautiful, perfect little poached egg. You can see, sorry, you can see the yolk is still soft inside. The white is cooked. One minute in the water and that will be essentially a brand new poached egg. You'd never know that it was done earlier, like an hour, two hours, the day before I've done it. This is good. This is all good. Wow, this is gonna be great. Gonna be great. Hollandaise is starting to bubble. Don't really want that. Okay, I don't want the hollandaise to ruin. Bubble away too much. I'm gonna take it off. It's ready. Nice. Beautiful. I don't want it too crispy, but I do want that crisp edge and some color on there. All right, now I take my egg. I slip it gently into the water. Set the timer. 60 seconds. And I say, this is gonna be ready in a second. You guys, move the cameras and let's build this baby. Boom, this is how this is gonna go down. I'm gonna give this a little, just a little zhuzh of the red because I can and because I want to, and there will be more, don't get me wrong. But now maybe the most important part that you made, the red skirt steak. Oh boy, is that beautiful? Sorry, Louis, you missed a piece of steak. You probably would have choked on it. Okay, now comes our egg. Give it a little rest on paper towels. Ow! Dang. Okay, now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put one more little drizzle of this on top. Now comes our hollandaise, like this. Oh boy. This combination is gonna be sick. And now just two things. One, a little pinch of the smoked paprika, just to remind us what was inside this. And of course, just a little bit of parsley. Look at that. Okay, I guess now we gotta have a bite. Oh, right down, shall we? Look, see, here's the amazing part. The amazing part is this yolk is gorgeous. It was cooked early. Boy, I'm making the world's biggest freaking mess. Destroyed it. I destroyed it. I did a terrible thing here, but. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, I guess now we gotta have a bite. Oh. But let's just get a bite and some bread. That. Mm. Mm -mm. Right. One more bite. I'm just not sure. I, I wanna be able to use the right words to describe this for you. And I really think I need like one more bite just to help pull it all together. For the channel. It's honestly fucking insane. It is fucking insane. One of the best Benedicts I've ever had. It's got steak on it. It's not a Benedict. That's a manedict. Steak, meat, animals. I love it.
fantastic. Sorry, vegans, there's no way you could make anything out of plants that could resemble that. It's just not happening anywhere in the planet. Watch somebody do it now. No, it's not. But you got to do this. Make the red chimichurri. Cook it with skirt steak. Then just let your mind go. Make a sandwich out of it. Steak salad out of it. A manadict out of it. It's the best thing ever. Boys need bites of this. We're going to go. You're going to subscribe. You're, we already did that part. Tell again. Max wants me to tell you again to subscribe. Oh, and buy my book. Sam the Cooking Guy, Recipes with Intentional Leftovers. Shit, this could have been one of them. Well, there is a Benedict or two in there, but damn it. All right, see ya.